James Blunt is James the wine guy here to share with you better lighting and uh, this bottle of wine here. Now, better lighting because I have an LED lighting system, and for me, it was something I should have gotten a long time ago, but didn't. But I do promise continuous improvement over time. So thank you for sticking with me and uh, better lighting in store so you can see the wine labels. And uh, hopefully you'll see a better interpretation of the coloration of the wines. Now, Pinot Noir, here we go. This is La Rochelle and La Rochelle Pinot Noir coming from San Jose Highlands, 2009 vintage back label. And this is a 15.2% alcohol content wine. And as I like to display the region behind me, or sometimes my logo, either or, and um, Central California, so you see in uh, inland here, just a bit, uh, but look at the uh, lowlands coming from the Pacific all the way through this region here. So what that means is coolness in the evening time and the morning time, giving that uh, Pinot Noir a break if it's been a hot summer. Now that's something that they need. They need to rest. They need to uh, retain that acidity and uh, go forth and be fruitful, so to speak. Now uh, for me, this is a, I love Pinot Noir. And I was just thinking, have I met anybody who doesn't like Pinot Noir? I really haven't. I haven't even had someone say, Oh, I think it's okay. I think it's one of these beloved grapes because it's so distinctly different that upon tasting, even uh, somebody who maybe is just what I would call a wine entrant, somebody who just started to enjoy wine, would pick that up and say, ah, Pinot Noir. So on this are just this wine in, in particular, I just opened up a little bit ago. Beautiful notes of violet garden and summer, summer afternoon's heat. Uh, sweet cedar and bramble thicket. Here we go. Take a taste and give you some feedback characteristics as well as a point score. Mm. Gorgeous acidity on this wine, really sophisticated. Nor beautiful notes of northern strawberry, uh, what I would term Canada strawberries, uh, raspberry, plum slice, cola, chili ancho, and lavender. I give this wine a 9.0 out of a 10.0 scale. And again, you can think of this as a 90 out of 100 points. For more wine reviews, you know where to go. JamesTheWineGuy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.